Good day everyone! This is Rizal G. Hilongo, a BTL Ed Home Economic student at Negros Oriental State University, Main Campus 1. So for today's video, we are going to talk about the portfolio. So the portfolio is a purposeful systematic process of collecting and evaluating the student's formative and or summative assessment to document the progress towards the attainment of the learning process of learning targets. So basically, a uh, portfolio is a process of compiling the materials that exemplifies the belief, the skills, the qualification, the education, the training and the experiences of the students. So, by having portfolio, this would help the students to see and identify the skills that they have gained throughout the learning process. So, it also exhibits the work of the students, their progress, and their achievement. So, uh, having portfolios would help the teachers to identify the academic growth of the students over a certain period of time. So this can also be used in providing the parents with the evidences of their children's achievements. So uh, let us now proceed on the two major types of portfolio. So first is we have documentation portfolio. So in, doc in documentation portfolio, it will show the student's work that illustrates their achievement. Next is the growth portfolio. This also reveals the change in student's proficiency over time. So, in addition, documentation portfolios give the students the chance to compile the projects that they have created in the course. So, such portfolios allows uh, the teachers to have an evidence on the students' abilities while on the other hand, growth portfolio contains a little bit of everything throughout the time. This means that instead of showing only their fin finished works, students document and present to demonstrate their learning. So, this type of portfolio uh, demonstrate the clear evidence of learning. It builds students' confidence, monitor their needs, support literacy goals, and uh, celebrate the progress of the student. So, uh, let us now proceed on the advantages of portfolio. So, first is, portfolio allows to combine the strength of performance assessments with a continuous record of achievement. Next, engage student in self-evaluation and reflection, involve students in collaborative assessment, integrate assessment with learning, focus on self-improvement, enhance student motivation. So, uh, in a nutshell, by having portfolio, students would be able to realize her strength. Through this, uh, they can also see where and what part of the task that needs to be improved. This also allows the students to be actively involved in the assessment because they will be able to uh, examine what they have done and what they want to accomplish in the future. So, portfolios can also offer opportunities or the collaboration among students, the teachers, and the parents. So, this would involve students in the portfolio development. Teachers can also use portfolio to help the students understand and appreciate the learning process. So now, we will proceed on the disadvantages of using portfolio. So first, this advantage is that scoring is time-consuming and is not consistent. Second, it needs time and resources to design, to review and score, and to get training so uh, portfolio is undeniably time-consuming uh, we all know that especially in organizing and evaluating the content so aside from that it is really hard for the teacher to individualize the criteria needed in grading the portfolio 
it also requires more time and resources in order to make the portfolio that is required by the teacher so i have here two examples about the uh, portfolio so first picture as you can see uh, miss floor a home economic teachers requires all her grade 12 students to compile all the activities and the tasks that she conducted in the class this includes for example the recipes of the uh, dish that they made the different uh, types or the different uh, napkin folds the different techniques in serving guests and many many more so that uh, the at the end of the lesson the teachers w the student I mean will be able to see or uh, recall the things that they have done and they will be able to see and to know what part of the lesson are their weaknesses so on the second example uh, as you can see uh, that is called the digital portfolio so uh, miss ara uh, requires her students to create a digital portfolio to let them uh, compile all their works throughout the semester and then at the end of the semester she would let her students to make a reflection a realization uh, based on the content of their portfolio so in that way the students will be able to see their progress throughout the time